Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Saturday, March 21st, and it's 2.20 p.m. I'd like to give you a little bit of food for thought. And this is, this was sent to me by um, somebody. <laughs> I forget now because I've been, I left it here and then went to take a nap. Okay, it's from an article. It's an article from publication known as Explore Health. Have to admit, I've not ever heard of it. That doesn't mean anything. There's thousands out there. The title of the article is, This is how many people die from the flu each year, according to the CDC. Okay, now... There's a reason behind this, all right, why well, I'm reading you this. Are more people dying from the flu this year compared to other seasons? Here's what to know. It was written by Claire Gillespie. I have heard of her. I have heard of her. February the 11th, 2020. Somebody found this article. This is how many people die from the flu each year, according to the CDC. And before I forget about it, I just watched a video, wasn't a long one, from that lady I shared a video with, what's was something TV, where, where truth is like archaeology and we're always digging for it. All right, and she was saying that President Trump may shut the whole country down except for grocery stores and pharmacies, all businesses, for two weeks, for two weeks, to put a halt to the growth of this coronavirus. Okay, I'll put a link to that in the description box. While everyone is in a panic about the coronavirus, officially renamed COVID-19 by the World Health Organization, there's an even deadlier virus many people are forgetting about, the flu. Flu season is hitting its stride right now in the U.S. So far, the CDC has estimated, based on weekly influenza surveillance data, that at least 12,000 people have died from influenza between October 1st, 2019 through February 1, 2020, and the number of deaths may be as high as 30,000. That's in the U.S. The CDC also estimates that up to 31 million Americans have caught the flu this season with 210,000 to 370,000 flu sufferers hospitalized because of the virus. Now, I, I am suspicious when they throw out a range that wide. Now, if they said 210 to 215, that's believable, but why Why the wide range? Are the hospitals not reporting their cases, or are some of them, they're not real sure if they had the flu or not, so they throw them in the mix, maybe with a question mark? I don't know. I have no idea why it says... The CDC also estimates that up to 31 million Americans have caught the flu this season with anywhere from 210 to 370,000 flu sufferers hospitalized 
because of the virus. Now, related, why do some people die from the flu? The official toll of the 2019 to 2020 flu season won't be known for months. The season itself could last until May and only preliminary estimates will be available until data is finalized. The current flu season has been difficult, this is in quotes, but it has not reached epidemic threshold, unquote. Infectious disease expert Amesh A. Adalja, M.D., senior scholar at the Johns Hopkins Center for Health, <coughs> for Health Security in Baltimore, tells Health, that's the name of a magazine, this one, Health, quote, in the next couple of weeks, when more data is available, it will become clear just how severe the season was given that we had an initial dominance of influenza B and now a dominance of influenza A, H1N1. You starting to smell a rat? When the second strain begins to dominate the flu season, this can cause the season to last longer, explains Dr. Adalja. Related. And see, everywhere it says related, there's a line under it, so I guess you can click that and it'll take you to another article. It says, Influenza B is dominating this year's flu season Here's what you need to know. Okay, well, I'm not going to click on that. I'm going to keep going. So how do these numbers compare to flu deaths in previous years? So they're just talking mostly about the influenza we deal with every year. But they'll tie in COVID a little more just in a minute here. So far, it looks like the 2019-2020 death toll won't be as high as it was in the 2017-2018 season when 61,000 deaths were linked to the virus. Did y'all hear of anything getting closed down a couple of years ago? Not one thing. Do they really care how many of us are dying? No. That's their goal. So why all the military movement? Why calling out the National Guard to help? In that article, the video I just saw, pretty sure it was that one, calling out the National Guard, they're going to turn hospital, uh, build, buildings into hospitals, take over hospitals so they, the government can allocate who gets a bed and who doesn't. That's what I'm thinking. Aren't they capable in a hospital of doing that? Well, maybe they care about people and they might let a 67-year-old lady have an ICU bed, but no, wait, this 45-year-old man needs it. He's younger. Give him the bed. Do you see? What are they sick with? Maybe it's the H1N1. And in order to get people to believe it's COVID, this is in my honest opinion now, they have to have a state expert review the test results and they are the ones who are calling it COVID-19 not the hospitals okay let me move on overall the CDC estimates that 12,000 and 
61,000 deaths annually since 2010 can be blamed on the flu. Globally, the World Health Organization, the WHO, estimates that the flu kills 290 to 650,000 people per year. I guess that would be dependent on which year you're looking at. The annual death rate depends on the specific strain of the virus that is dominant. How well the vaccine is working to protect against that strain and how many people got vaccinated, says Adalja. Adalja. I think that's how you say that. The flu is harder to fight off for specific populations such as infants and young children, the elderly, and people who are immunocompromised due to chronic illnesses such as HIV or cancer. In recent weeks, however, the spotlight has been firmly on the new coronavirus, which the WHO officially named COVID-19 on February 11th. The concern is justified as more than 1,000 people in mainland China have died from the virus. Okay, let's hold it right there. A larger number than those who died from severe acute respiratory syndrome, SARS, in the 2002-2003 SARS epidemic. To date, there are 13 confirmed cases. Okay, remember, this was written in November on November the 11th. All right. I'm going to leave the link so you can read the rest of it. But clearly, of course, this was like I said back in November. And it said more than a thousand people in mainland China. Unless I would think they're talking about Wuhan. I do believe the numbers being put out in this country in any form are way under based on some of the videos coming out of there and that one doctor who was trying to tell people he ended up dead they made him go put the bodies in the incinerator figuring that will make him sick and he'll die well, it didn't, because he was a Christian. So what was I telling you last night? You count on Psalm 91, no plague will enter into my house. He clearly believed it, and he didn't get sick, even though he was touching the bodies. You know, they had to wrap them up and and toss them in there and then toss them into the incinerator. So anyway, I'm going to end it there. And um, it's food for thought because there's something else going on. They don't care about whether we live or die. We're just... What is the expression? useless eaters especially those of us who can't contribute to society anyway I plead the blood of Jesus over this this video and over myself for protection and over my internet connection so it'll go up I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you and your devices and your internet connections so we can stay connected until we're out of here. And with that, I'm going to say bye for now, y'all. Talk to you later.